so today I'm going to show you how to set up MPV with your Fyshin music player. Um, so Fyshin is a front-end media player that works with your back-end subsonic uh, music server. Um, it's a very clean UI if you have a lot of digital albums to be able to play and access them. Um, but if you're using an external DAC on a Windows PC, you might not be getting the full audio quality out of those albums. Um, why is this? Is that Windows will over or under sample audio coming from the computer before it gets to your DAC um, just by virtue of how Windows accommodates audio from a variety of um, audio sources um, but in doing so you might be diminishing the sound quality of your album. So I'm going to show you how to set up MPV on Fyshin which enables you to um, bypass that um, default Windows function. So if you want to install Fyshin, I'll add the GitHub link in the description. It's a really great platform. You can support, help the guys out there that develop this and girls. Um, so, um, but let's start with how to set up MPV. Um, so first step, you want to go to settings, playback, and you're going to want to select your audio player here as MPV and then we need an MPV executable path so we need to download uh, the MPV file which we can pull from here I'll put this link in the description as well um, you're just going to want to pull the most updated uh, version of this and download that that's a zip file so once you download the zip file you're going to want to unpack it I suggest unpacking it in your users folder uh, just because there won't be as many complications with permissions when Fyshin is trying to access it. Um, so once you have it installed um, you can look look at um, once you have it installed in your on your computer and un unzip that file you can go to in your file explorer and copy the path and when you click here to find the executable path you can just copy and paste that path into the pop-up window, pop-up file explorer window, and then you can select here your MPV application, um, which is what Fyshin is looking to um, run on. So once you have that selected, you can open it and it will come up here. Oops. Like so. So now the next step is to set up your MPV parameters. So this is where you're able to basically tell Windows to just run um, your audio through your external DAC. So the only two settings you need are this one, which is audio exclusive equals yes. I'll put this in the description. And then you're going to want to select your audio device here. Um, so you need to find what the audio device is labeled as in order for whenever you bring up Fyshin, whenever you play any music through Fyshin, it will just go through your your external DAC. So you're going to want to open up your MPV folder again, go to the path line, type in commands, and that will automatically bring up your command window here. Then you're going to want to input this command. I'll put this in the description. and this will list your audio devices. So what we're looking for here is, is basically, so I'm using a Fio K11 external DAC, or um, amplifier, uh, headphone amp, which is the DAC I, wanna, I want to have the music processed through. So you're gonna wanna copy this, 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 um, this line here, which is the identification for um, the, 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 the DAC. So you can copy that, you can paste that here after audio device equals, and you're going to want to reload your player. And then you can test out to make sure your music actually plays. You can see here the audio is playing. And in addition to playing the audio through your DAC, another benefit of using this is that it will dynamically adjust the sampling rate based on the song that's playing. So if you have a CD quality, it'll run at 44 kilohertz. If you have anything higher quality than that, it'll run at 96 kilohertz or anything in between. 
um, so you just get the most fidelity out of the music um, that's in your collection. So uh, that's all I wanted to show you guys today. Um, I hope this was helpful. If you have any other questions, um, let me know, and hopefully I can help you out.